Financial records revealed President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill are carrying a personal debt of up to $815,000, RadarOnline.com has learned. Records additionally show the president saw no royalties from his two books, Promises to Keep and Promise Me, Dad, this year. The Biden's financial records were disclosed on Wednesday, May 15, under the Ethics in Government Act, which requires yearly records to be made public to prevent conflicts of interest while in office. Vice President Kamala Harris and her husband Doug Imhoff's records were also disclosed. Records revealed the bulk of Joe and Jill's debt stems from the mortgage on their Delaware home, which carried a balance between $250,000 and $500,000, as well as a 2022 home equity loan against the property. The Bidens additionally have a $15,000 term loan and a $50,000 loan against a mutual fund. On an Office of Government Ethics form, the Bidens reported assets between $1 and $2.6 million, with liabilities ranging between $350,000 to $850,000, according to the Daily Mail. Details on the exact figures are unclear as the form lists range rather than precise numbers. An interesting detail on their forms was that neither recorded royalties for their books. The 81-year-old commander-in-chief reported no royalties on his two memoirs and Jill reported none on her book, Where the Light Enters. Jill did, however, note that she received up to $1,000 in royalties from her two children's books, don't forget, God bless our troops and Joey, the story of Joe Biden. The First Lady is expected to release a third children's book in July, Willow the White House Cat, which covers life at the White House from the famous feline's perspective. While Jill reported her income from teaching at Northern Virginia Community College, where she's taught since 2009, she did not disclose the exact salary amount. The president additionally reported having less cash in his bank account than the previous year. Biden recorded $50,000 to $100,000 in one bank account on this year's form, a significant drop from last year's statement of $250,000 to $500,000. Another account showed between $50,000 to $10,000 on hand, another dip from the previous year's $100K0 to $250,000 in the bank.